This week on Coffee with Kasi, Lerata Modise and Young Papi tell the tales of their childhood. Many have come and many have gone, yet we are still here providing you with the best post-show content of your big brother, Mzanti Housemate. If you don't know, well, let me tell you, this is Coffee with Kasi, the coolest hangout spot of your big brother, Mzanti's fave, who have been evicted. With that being said, please, let's welcome my guest today. It is the one and only Lerata, and of course, she's not by herself. She is with Young Papi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. Oh my gosh, how are you guys doing? Happy your seats, please. Happy. Happy. The happy ni. Are you happy? No, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And is it because you've just you've had some time to just, you know what I mean? Because I mean, you left the house like a week ago, I think. I did, but it was time. It was time. It really was time for me. I was tired of being that girl. No, everyone you get tired of that house. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I was also tired in a way. Like when you step out of that house, you feel like just, there's like a sense of relief. Like, like when you like yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in the house you at some point you can't breathe. Yeah. Like, but I know, but it doesn't seem like that, does it? Like when we're watching you, we feel like you wanna be there. Mm. But deep down you're like there's a part of you now. that says, yeah. You know yeah. when you but came in the week six, in week six, I was like, I wish I could just say to her that, girl, can, can I just be my normal self because I'm tired of being this bad girl? Really? Yeah, I was a bad girl. Okay, before we go on and on, let me just ask, how do you guys like your coffee? Black, Are strong, no sugar. No sugar? No sugar? Uh-uh. Okay, what about you, baby? I don't really be drinking coffee, but <laughs> I can drink it today. Okay, so. I yeah. like that. I'm going to get you some sugar, because if you don't drink coffee, I'm sure you're going to need a whole lot of milk as well yeah. and sugar. Right, so we're going to just put that over there. Well, okay, so you have your milk and your sugar and everything else. You just need water. Yes, I you do. You just drink your coffee straight up. That's giving... Mm, psycho. No, girl. I'm sorry. That's, That's giving, giving understanding psycho. my coffee. It's giving... I like my coffee strong and black. <laughs> okay, girl. Let's, let's go crazy. Yeah, you Bobby, know. how do you know that I don't take sugar? <laughs> yeah, because Bobby was um, like, no, 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 no. I want to make coffee for you now. What, 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 what was the reason? I don't know. Twice. <laughs> you asked me to do it and then I did it. Yo, thanks, Bobby. No. I'm a coffee girl. I love my coffee. Okay, no, anyone who drinks coffee straight like that, let me tell you, they like their coffee. Mm -hmm. But I want to know, you guys, I mean, you're out of the house. How is it feeling? Have you been received very well, or how has it been? Hey. Do I start or you go first? Yeah, you can go first. I've not been out. Uh, I've not really... I've, I've not really seen what's been said about me. Yeah. But the little I saw is exactly how I wanted it to come out because... What do you mean? The re I was relaying a certain message. Okay. You know? What, what was the message? The message was I am doing an educational experiment in the house as a character I was playing. You were... You were playing a character? Yes, I was playing a character. And remember, I have to juggle two characters. The Makoti, <laughs> the girlfriend wife. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. And the bad I, girl. No. <laughs> wait. I need to understand this. Mm -hmm. So, basically, what we saw is not Lerato. Mm -mm. Hey, you knew about this? Nah, like, I've been with her outside now, so I know. It's a different person. And Ghost said it to them. that. Yeah. Like, Lerato is actually a, a good girl. Not the girl that she was playing in. Like, I'm a good, good so girl. So, who were you playing in the house? Like, I'm trying to understand. I was playing a very bad girl. Yeah. A girl that gives bad advice. A girl that <gasps> tells on other people. Are you serious? A girl that instigates. A girl that Bro. provokes. Like, I was a little problem. Hey, <laughs> and I do it. me to it's... tell me. <laughs> I <laughs> You're the one who made oh, oh my and then god. I had to confess, bro. I'm the one behind all of that. That's I'm the so one crazy. behind the fact that I would put fish oil in their bottles. I'm the girl that Lerato wait. <laughs> I don't understand. When you were going into the house, did you tell Big Brother that you know what? You know when they ask you about your strategy, did you tell them like, okay, my strategy is 
just because I'm going to go there in the character. Or is it something that you did in the moment, like when you got into a house and you decided like, you know what, I'm actually going to put a character. Pre-planned. I had to work into it. I had to work plus minus two months into it when I started engaging with uh, the big brother team yeah. started having to plan because my sister was like, you know what actually happened? My sister posted you, really? right, on her status, the green app. When, when, when was on that? The, before I came into the house, sometime in November. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. and I'm like, why? What's wrong with her? She's like, no, I really loved her. Yeah. You know, I'm like, wow. She's like, no, she gave content. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying anything. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. It, was it don't content. matter. It's content, my darling. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm like, so why did you like her? Yeah. And she's like, no, everybody was against her, but she gave us content. And I'm yeah. like, what would happen if I go? I'm not saying anything. She's yeah. like, girl, you'd be booted out in two weeks the way you are. Yeah. I'm like, why? Wow. She's like, Loto, you're loving, you're caring, you're generous, you're too kind. You don't see anything wrong in people. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so what would take me to us? Like, you have to yeah. be this, you have to be that. Yeah. That is good. Basically. I, I'm so shocked. I'm not even going to lie. I don't think I would have even imagined that uh, sometime. But what I would tell you is that when I went into the house, I did see two different people. When, when, when we were coming in, you were just, you know, like just plain. Like you didn't really give any type of uh, reaction. You were just like... And then suddenly you were just like, it's like you snapped out of it. When we were outside and you were like a different person, you were laughing, you were talking. And I was like, oh yeah, maybe she just takes time to warm up to people. The character, <laughs> it's used to me. But you say you... Um, with me, I feel like the first 30 minutes in the house, yeah. I wanted to play a character where you're just mysterious, honestly. But then... I was wearing makeup and I was chilling by myself. I'm like, oh, wearing dude. makeup? Yeah, before, obviously, when you, when you go into the house, they. Oh, yeah, they, they, they put some powder yeah, on you. Powder on you. Yeah, they powder and you up. I was chilling there. I'm like, nah, bro, you don't want to be that. And I went to the basin, washed my face. I looked at myself in the mirror. Yeah. And I said, well, come on, back. And then I went in. Is that when Puppy Nation was born? Yeah. <laughs> you were like, then, yeah, let's that's go. That's when everything started. And then. Um, I thought I wasn't going to play, yeah. I wasn't going to be kissing and whatnot, right? I thought maybe I was going to be the good guy that has one good friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, when it, oh, yeah. One good friend. Okay, yeah. I see. Did you end up having more than one friend? <laughs> Meli, can Meli stop laughing? Like, why is it? Meli, keep laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, yo, I'm just going to have one good friend. And then... Like, most ladies were, like, trying to kiss me, and I kissed that. Oh, know? so it was them trying to yeah. kiss you. It wasn't that it wasn't you me. were trying to no. kiss. Not I was not one, one of the ladies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, because you were married. I kissed four <laughs> ladies. I kissed four ladies. Yeah, hey. I think so. So, wait a minute. Who? Yeah. Um, my first Z. Okay. That was my fourth day in the house. Yeah. And I'm in a relationship. Fuck. Ooh. It's fine. So it was Z, Faima, Els. Els, and Yema. Yeah. So did you have any type of connection with them or was it just a kiss? No, like, no, nah, it was just kisses, honestly. because With all of them? Yeah. But if you were. With all four of them? If you were a good kiss, I went twice. With all four of them? With? All four, four of them. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. I'd say okay. so. So you wouldn't say you made any strong connection in the house where, um, you know, um, you feel like, okay, I'm definitely going to be pursuing this outside or see how it goes. No, nah, we're just going to stay good friends, me and Z. Uh -huh. Yeah, just with Z, not with the others. With Z, we're just going to continue you, you, being good you, friends. You do want to have that friendship there. Yeah. Yeah. But Why I don't is think that? It's because why yeah, her out of everyone else you know? um i've connected more with her i've shared a lot of stories with her um with the others it was just yo, know, we're just kissing and i'm like yo we're not supposed to be doing this anymore anymore yeah okay and then with z yeah like i can see like we were kissing like crazy when i look at on social media i see we were kissing like crazy <laughs> like crazy like yo <laughs> 
at night, every, yo, we were even building tents. Yeah. No, I understand. We've yeah. all been there. What yeah. about you, Lerato? You built connection in the house. And now I hear there was a character. So I'm wondering, was the relationships and the friendship and the house, were they part of the character? Has the story ended? Or... So Ghost and I, when we went to the cabin, mm -hmm. that's when I opened up to him. Like, yeah. Ghost, this is this. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, makes sense. I'm like, well, you better stop being a nice boy. Mm -hmm. You know? Is, is that you telling Ghost to be an asshole? Yes, I did. <laughs> Because I, I, he's not allowed to help girls. Mm -hmm. He can only help in the arena. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else. That's, if you touch girls in the club, you have to wash your hands before you touch me. Hi, boo. And then he was like, okay, we're going to fight. Because <laughs> in the arena, he's like, at the cabin, he's like, we're going to fight. I'm like, yep, we will fight. But we will not fight in front of them. Mm -hmm. We will fight where it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. You know? All I can yeah. say about him is that he's an amazing guy. <laughs> I don't care who says what. So, so, so you will be pursuing something outside. You want to continue? I mean, he's such a nice guy, you know. And I think he also, he, he misses, he kept saying, I want my girlfriend. I'm tired of these characters. One minute you're the snake. One minute you're ginger. Girl, I miss you. Yeah. He only got to be with me in the shower. Mm -hmm. And when I come to him to rest because he was like my place of solace like where I'd come back Aww. and like I cuddle and I'm myself what's the name of your ship apparently it's La Ghost La Ghost yes <laughs> <laughs> no I remember the first time I saw you guys I was like this is so nice I was like oh, but also the moment I'm like they better get it together. You know? Um, there was a day you guys were talking about washing you. What do you call those big fluffy yellow things? These shoes. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. Is his yellow? Yes, I remember his is yellow, yellow. mine is pink. Yeah. And you guys were talking about that he should wash them and stuff. Like, and he was like, yeah, I would do it tomorrow. And I was like, oh, this is so cute. That lady used to do my laundry. You know? <laughs> so moments like that. And then there was a time you were like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. And it was like... If you keep on just being negative, and I'm like, what the hell does he mean? It's hot. <laughs> it <was hard. laughs> so there were moments I'm just like, oh, I was like, oh. I'm he's like, an amazing. I didn't want to. I didn't for this uh, season. I said I'm not gonna have faves because I knew how I felt when I came out of the house and you saw like previous housemates rooting for certain people. Like it's not a nice feeling. So mm -hmm. I. I, I told myself that I'm just going to love everyone and wish all the best for everyone. And that's what it is. I see you guys and my young brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Seriously. When something bad happens to any of you, like it breaks my heart. Like when that thing landed on Evicted, I was like, oh my God, this cannot be. But because by, by week seven, week eight, I remember my transmitter yeah. was number eight. Mm. And I remember speaking to myself, yeah. you know, and asking for signals. When am I going to leave? Mm -hmm. It was between week seven and week eight. Mm -hmm. And I would get a signal personally yeah. as to when I'm going to leave. And when it happened, I was like, the stars are aligned. Because yeah. if I, if seeing the narrative that's out there about me, and if I had won mm -hmm. at Christian South Africa, so bad is good. Oh, really? And that that would be a question I would be asking mm -hmm. myself. Like, me being that girl, is it a good thing? Mm -hmm. You know? And I ask myself, what is out there about me? Is it the work that I did? Is it what I spoke about? Yeah. Is it my relationship with Ghost? What exactly is more yeah. out there about myself? Okay. I hear you. But it still broke my heart. I feel like um, we all deserve the honor of leaving the house. Like, even though I don't know how it's like... Mm -hmm. But just going on stage and then uh, pretty much uh, just saying hi to everyone, sitting with Lawrence. But, I mean, you got a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. But at the time, we didn't know, yes. right? So it was just sad for all of us. Like, oh, my goodness. No one should leave like this. And I hope they don't have that thing today. Like, big brother, Maybe. remove that thing. Oh, it's It's, it's a dumb eviction, though. Oh, it's Guys, terrible. it's a game. How? It's terrible. It's a game. I get it, guys. Do you want to move to the couch so we can like relax a bit yeah, and uh, continue the chats? Because now I want to get more 
in, in your lives. Mm -hmm. What exactly are your plans? Mm -hmm. You know, moving forward, what mm -hmm. do you want to do? Are you brand building? Are we planning your wedding? Oh, well, I'm I good. Your maid of honor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. Okay. But I'm very excited to have you guys. Okay, guys, everyone is comfortable. You know, you still have your coffee. Is it still warm or you good? I love it's it. Perfect. And there you go. The Bobby at some point forgot about his coffee, but here we are. Now tell me, guys, if you think about the house, what are your highlights? You know, that one moment you were so happy, the wrong moment you were so excited or the saddest day, like, you know. Um, my highlights was basically stepping out of that eye, the big brother, the door, everything. When I saw everyone, I was like, yo, I'm actually here. Right. And it looks so bright, the colors and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was on some, yeah, you finally made you it. You finally to TV. made it. <laughs> and um, also, every Saturday, mm -hmm. my friends were looking fly. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Big Brother had your back. Yo, he was like, <laughs> this is Papi. Let's rock that way. Yeah, it's so, so nice. Every Saturday. They yeah. Understand your personality yeah. and they understand your style. Uh, yeah. And oh. then. My saddest moments in the house was every time in the arena games. Like, I used to beat time like crazy. Yeah. But every time I'm supposed to win, yeah. the last thing, let's say maybe there's four sections or whatever, yeah, 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 the yeah. last one, I always flop. Okay. And my time is like crazy. Yeah, and they always put the most difficult one at the end. <sighs> yeah, They're not actually difficult, actually. I yeah. don't know. I was just panicking because sometimes yeah. I would check my time. I'm like, yo. I kill this time. And then I get to the last thing and then I just flop. You just and I'm flop, like, yo. Yeah. Maybe you're in your head too much. Yeah. You start putting pressure on yourself. Yeah. Like, you know what? You're so close. You got to make it. You know, my goal was just never. I didn't want the bell to run out while no, I was the buzzer, still yeah. My goal was just, I want, by the time the buzzer ca comes, I'm done. I never want to be stuck on the, on the second. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. What about you, Lerato? Remember my highlights? My highlight uh, was from the moment I walked into the house, definitely my outfit yeah. being unveiled. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what gave birth to that idea? Uh, who I was going to be in the house. Okay. I was going to be. I was masking myself. Okay. Okay. You know, I was um, right. unmasking another. So that was part of the character. Mm -hmm. You want to add. Let me tell you something. It was supposed you... to be black. Oh, yeah? Yes. And then I struggled. And then they, I got white. It was supposed to be a wedding gown. Yeah. But a black one. Right. You know, and then I got the pink and white. I was like, okay, it's still fine. I'll People tell at the end. we're talking, I'll tell you that much. You know, when the show starts, we were very excited. Big Brother has a lot of fans. Um... Not just the people you see online saying so. There are people who genuinely just love watching the show. And you were one of the people that stood out. That was very smart. Mm. And Lawrence, I don't know if you know, but he was the groom that mm, night. We got married. <laughs> we got yes. married. Absolutely. Yes. yes. So, yes, definitely going on to the stage. Um, another one was, okay, now I'm putting on this persona because it's a personality split. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I'd be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And hey, by God's grace, I came, went into a relationship with a very loving guy. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely the games and how the thought process behind what Big Brother does in terms of the gaming, um, the outfits, the camping, mm -hmm. when we camped, yeah. that was out I, of this I world. never survived that no girl it, it, it was amazing it wasn't bad. you know yeah, there was a bad. time when there were bees mm -hmm. and i'm thinking to myself is this a controlling climate yeah what is happening and the bees were there and me and liam are saving the bees because you know mm -hmm. another highlight would definitely be the courage i took to actually do what i did mm -hmm. you know and now I have to face the real world. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about who I am. I want to be who I say I am and mm -hmm. I believe I am. Right. Because it's something to say. That's true. And it's something to do. Yeah. You know, so yeah. definitely Big Brother, the entire show was, was a highlight. Was a highlight. <laughs> you know, I ticked my bucket list. I was like, yeah. I done did it. Mission accomplished. Okay. And Let's go, girl. It wasn't an easy mission. Yeah, it wasn't mission. an easy You guys one. did very well. Uh, lastly, mm -hmm. did you 
maybe perhaps now that you're outside, started thinking, I should have done things slightly different. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like, I feel like they caught me slacking now. <laughs> yeah, they caught me slacking. Like, yeah. in the beginning, I was like, yo, I'm just going to continue playing the game. I'm not going to get too emotional or I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make my feelings overcome what I I want to be in the house right so I was like yo I'm just gonna play the game and I'm not gonna catch feelings for this specific hunt yeah right mm. and then yo with time I'm like hey but now we so are catch you did catch feelings in the house doesn't matter Big what brother started playing this song we are catch or something like <laughs> okay she <laughs> don't find out me all the time and you're like this is me I'm like yo is he playing this because of me <laughs> And you, but, yeah. nah, but and you say you, ha you, ha you have a girlfriend. Yeah. Have you, re have you spoken to them at all? Yo, I called her this morning, right? And then I was on some, yo, are you good? And then she said, do you think I'm good? <laughs> and I was on some, I have an interview. I'll, we'll, I'm we'll good talk. back to you. Yeah. So, but you, you know how the mood is. Yeah. But are you going back to her or you just want to apologize for embarrassing her? That type of thing, you know, because sometimes you're just reaching out to be like, I'm sorry, that was not part of the plan. Or are you reaching out because you want to continue where you left off? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know yet? Yeah, I don't okay. know yet. No? Yeah. What about you, Larata? Any type of rethoughts of how you, you know, played your game? No, I really wanted to do that mm -hmm. because more than anything, for me, I come from a time when I was in those people's shoes yeah. where, I mean, I was very straight about my mandate. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be liked by anybody in the mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. you know? And maybe I could have accomplished that, maybe not. Yeah. Remember, I was, I was body shamed, I was bullied. You I've were been body abused. shamed? Yeah. Growing up, I was told I was oh, too fat okay, to be on TV. On, not okay, okay. You know? But not on Big Brother. No, 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 yes. not on Big Brother. Okay, so yeah. all of those things, <clears throat> With the, I was, I've always been the, the girl that people mm -hmm. would, you know, right. on, like they right. were mean to me. Yeah. But the mean girls were liked. Mm -hmm. I, that's, why, that's why I wanted to test. Mm -hmm. Am I going to be liked if I'm that girl that people right. were mean to me? Yeah. Yesterday at the live show, there was this girl who came and mm -hmm. back in varsity, I never had friends. Yeah. I would sit by myself and study, sit with the boys. Mm -hmm. And she came up to me, she's like, let's be friends. I always see you sitting by myself. Yeah. I was so happy. Yeah. And then she came yesterday. I'm like, Olive, oh. thank you. You know, I know what it feels like to be by yourself. Right. That's why. Is, I, that the, is that a sock on your head? I wear a sock on my head. The name of my sock is Lancy. That's a cartoon character. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every, sock, I will take sock. their socks. I will borrow their socks. So guys, okay. I'm wearing red. Can I borrow a red sock? This is Lancy. <laughs> this nigga kept me sane, y'all. <laughs> Whose socks is that one cool. in particular? What color is it? It's orange. orange. Between Ghost and I, we've got the same it's socks. Good stuff, yeah. <laughs> How did you guys end up with the same socks now? We bought the same socks at the same place. And then you went to the house. <laughs> In the same socks. But obviously he's a size 12. I'm yeah. a size 5. That's so crazy. Yes, I was so you something. I'm a cartoon you character. Are, you you are something. So you how you y'all need to help me find a name for the cartoon character that was in the house because yeah. maybe I want let's the kids. Do that. Please. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I wouldn't even know where to start, but <laughs> I know you guys are more creative than I am. But, I mean, a lovely journey that you guys had in the house with Big Brother and all of that. But not just, I just want to know, growing up, where did you grow up? Who did you grow up with? And how was your childhood? Yeah, yeah now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been lying in the house. Whatever you heard there, that was a lie. <laughs> not him. So but now, to the camp. <laughs> I'm telling you guys straight up what, yeah. like, my childhood, I grew up in Kimberley. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Aarzwad, right? Mm. So from grade, let's say from when I was like one mm -hmm. until grade five, I was in Kimberley. And mm. my childhood was like crazy. Right. Uh, I'm from a place where it's dangerous. Like, yo, when you go to Kimberley and you ask them about where I'm from, I'm not going to mention the place. Why not? Okay, I'm from Tuta. Yes. Right? Tuta. Yeah. Mm. So... In Tuta, when you grow up there, you're gonna, there's no way you're gonna mm. be a softie. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, because they always gonna keep bullying you. Okay. 
So okay, okay, okay. I so grew you up, had to grow uh, yeah, up quickly. I, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and so, like, every time maybe I remember, like, because my childhood, we at my house, we were cool at that time. Mm-hmm. We were still cool, like, financially. Yeah. I was that boy in the hood. Yo, that's a cheese boy. Okay, I but see I that. But I didn't want to be seen as okay. a cheese boy. Yeah. So I had to move like other people. Right. I wanted to be like everybody else. Right, right. Started fighting a lot. Mm-hmm. Stealing, <laughs> stealing, yeah. um, doing crazy things like that most people do. Sometimes I would just tease when I see someone, I would just bully them for the sake of bullying them. Right. And then I got to a point where, yo, my mom was giving me a hiding every day. Yeah. I got to How one point. How old are you at this time? I think grade three, four, five. I was, was going. Still- a child. I, yeah, but I but was going in your crazy. brain, you were really thinking, I don't want people to look at me yeah. like a softy, mm-hmm. a cheese boy. Yeah. So you, you started these things. Yeah, I started these things. Yeah. And I I got to a point where, because I was getting a hiding a lot, yeah. I stopped crying at one point. I'm like, I'm never crying again. What? And they would beat me and I would just look at my mom. Okay. <laughs> Happy <laughs> my tune! <laughs> Oh and she goodness. stopped she stopped beating me and then they literally left her i'm sure she couldn't speak yeah and then they moved me to Arzwater because mm. yo i believe everyone that has moved most of my friends were in different places and they mm. were moved to Arzwater. Mm. so i believe that's like a rehab for everybody right when i got there i got people that were bullies like me so I was kind of scared of them. So, okay, that, that place we're talking about, is it like a different city or is it a facility? Uh, Kimberley is a city yeah. and then Arzwater is a small town. What caused the move? Was it because, because of, of your or yeah. just the family I moving? remember, no, nah, mo- nah, my family didn't move. That time when I moved, mm-hmm. they had just, you know what a slap is? What's, what's a slap? Mama. A slap. The, oh, um, oh. X. An X. They, hit me, they mm. hit me with that. X on my head. Im, wait, like an X, like yeah. A X. Yeah, like they hit me, and then I who, did this. Who was? Hitting? I don't remember that it was. I was still young, yeah, and then it turned, too. and then hit me here, <gasps> and then you see I have a scar here. Yes, yes, yes. And then they hit me with a stone, a stone that stood here for like when I took it. How up, old are you? Grade five. Ah, ah. yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then my mom was like, "Nah, this nigga is moving." So they took me to Harzwater. When I got there, they were bullying me because of that. They said, ah, oh you're a soft God. boy, what, 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 what? Ah. And then I fought once and then yeah, I beat that nigga up. Ooh, I smoked that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because he tried to bully me. Yeah, I smoked yeah, that nigga. Yeah. And then from there, they stopped bullying me. Mm-hmm. I also, I was also on some, yo, I'm not going to fight anymore. Okay. And what, so what, what do you think made you decide what's no? You know what? This is not the um, it's because yo, I was always hurt. Mm. Yeah. So I got to a point so I'm like was like I mean, your parents have been trying to talk to mm-hmm. you, I assume at this point. I'm sure they've asked family members, mm-hmm. neighbors, anyone who they think could yeah. talk some sense uh-huh. to. You. Was there anyone who did that or was just your personal uh, nah, realization? Um actually there was they also made me leave because my, my friends were smoking drugs and I was the only one that wasn't smoking. I need drugs. to know the age. Okay, I hear grade the grade. Five. grade five. I was 12, 11. Are you serious? Yeah. So um, I was like, yo, I'm not going to get into drugs and all of that. Mm. But I was slowly going to get there. Mm-hmm. And then they said, yo, move. And then I mm. moved. And then I fought for my first day, mm-hmm. even at school. I went to this other school. Eh? Mm-hmm. I was supposed to go to a private school. And right. then it was full. Mm-hmm. They were like, yo, go to a public school. And then I went to this public school. Mm-hmm. And then I fought that day, and then they were like, nah, this guy is from Kimberley, mm. he can fight. Mm-hmm. And then they stopped, and I was like, do I still want to continue? Me, on my own, I was on mm. some, yo. Are you still 12, or are you 13 now? I'm, I'm 12, I'm still yeah. 12. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, you need to stop fighting, because ob- obviously you're going to get hurt here too. Mm-hmm. And they're pr- most probably going to move you from Arzwata to a different place so again. Even worse, yeah. maybe, yeah. So by then, I just stopped everything, and I started focusing on my books. Because wow. I was I was a smart kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I was smart. You're still smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So um I started focusing more on my books mm-hmm. and soccer. Yeah. Just playing soccer like mm-hmm. crazy. Did you change friends and stuff like that? Um when I got to Arzwater it was they were pop. 
my friends were pop. They wasn't like it wasn't fair that the five. Softies. Yeah. Yes. So, so you ended up on the softy uh-huh. side. And yeah. then I also became like a softy in yeah. a way. Mm-hmm. And then I went to high school. High school, I was on some, nah, I was just cool high school. Yeah. And then uni, I changed. And then... Where did uh, you go to? Which Salt Lake one? University in Kimberley. Okay. And then I went to the U.S. Mm. to study in the U.S. And then I came How back. did you end up in the U.S.? Was it a, uh, a it was university? Scholarship. scholarship. Okay. Yeah, I got a scholarship. What did you study? In the U.S., mm-hmm. digital media production. Okay, all right. Yeah. But you know what? That's so crazy. It's a mm-hmm. beautiful story, and I don't think anyone could ever even imagine that's what you went through. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 also a miracle that uh, you are alive because being that young and being involved in such mm-hmm. things, the all the people in those type of environment they take to take advantage of the kids or the younger ones and. You couldn't be here. Exactly. Chances you wouldn't be here. Exactly. But you turned your life completely around. Yeah, that's why like in the house people were saying I'm too good to be like to be the like the truth and shit. Yeah, yeah. Because I was always on some yo, you guys are not supposed to fight in this. So people didn't like me because I always stopped fights. Mm. I was like, yo, you guys are not but supposed you know, to be fighting here because I know where I'm coming also, from. Also it kinda gives you that Yeah. You know, so every time I stopped a fight, I'm like, yo, at least you stopped this fight. Mm-hmm. It could have went maybe further. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So people don't understand that they just want some hype. This one mm. just wants to be a good person. Nah. Right. I'm a good person like that because of what had happened, like mm. what has happened in my past. Right. Yeah. That's a very beautiful story. We also have Tabang from Kimberly. He's part of the production team. Mm. And I could see he's relating. Is that the one, the red shirt? Yeah. Yeah, he looks like that. <laughs> they <laughs> look alike. Right. right. You can very much relate to your story, maybe Loki. What about you, Lerata? Oh, my God. When I'm Suta Slam Freestata Senegal, my driving, I was conceived in Gwagwa, born in Bethlehem. Mm. and raised in Foslo towards the Eastern. My dad died mm. on his birthday Wow! at the age of 27, 28, yes, yes okay. on his way coming to me. Oh, really? Yes, it took my mom 12 years to be married again because mm. she was going through depression. Right. And then I was taken to school by my grandparents and my uncles. I'm mm. very grateful for that. Mm. Then I get to primary school. I'm just a chubby child, like a fresh, like a stola, like a cheeseburger. You know, those were the names I was called. And that somehow did affect my self-esteem because my friends were as sexy as you, you know. I remember CV's time, I'd have to do like sit-ups mm-hmm. because I'm like, maybe get a fresh stomach in a couple of days. At one point I was bulimic, I'd eat and vomit at the same time. Uh, and because of my weight, at, w- at, at one point, I yeah. just, I, I remember, I took my grandfather's pills. Mm. I was like, I'm going to attempt to commit suicide because I'm tired of people. Yeah, and you're my- not even big. Girl, I get it. You are, you know, when you're in grade five, grade six, yeah. grade seven, yeah. you know. Mm. And I ended up in hospital. I was in coma, mm. came out high school, high school. They judged me the way they did. They thought yeah. I was from a rich family. They thought I was. Because you were cute. Yeah, chubby, you know, I'm so chubby, like, oh, okay. you know, mm. and they thought I liked, had guys with money and whatnot. I yeah. didn't date in high school, yeah. but I was a little rebel. Yeah. Like, I just wanted a party. Yeah. You know, I'd sneak out. <laughs> I snuck out for five years before I got busted. Oh my God. <laughs> five what? years. You need to teach me a ways. Girl. <laughs> I snuck out for five years. And then after that, I went through to... University, yeah, got to varsity. So now you getting to transitioning from home to university. Did you still have the same um, mentality in, in terms of your confidence, how you look at yourself? The confidence came about properly when I was trying out for Miss South Africa, oh, because yeah. I was very clear about Miss South Africa that I want to represent yeah. a segment of South African women who happen to be big boned. Yeah, I want to embrace my flabby arms, my yeah. cellulite, yeah. my chubby cheeks. You know. Yeah. There is a part of women in South Africa that are like myself. So, and I didn't make it through because I had a tattoo. Oh, yeah? Then they didn't allow tattoos. Okay, okay. And now things have changed. They got got back to you. When now? I mean, like back then, like when you send your application. They did. I made it. 
I made it somewhere and then tattoo was the problem at the time. Yeah, I'd I, actually love I, to see my audition videos. Maybe we should. Do you have one? Maybe I could, don't. Sun International, you please. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I auditioned for Miss South Africa. Five years. Back to back. Girl. Okay. Back to back. Yeah, you can Not relate. A you word can relate. From Miss South Africa. They never said anything. To you me. can relate. You understand. <sighs> I get you, girl. Yes. Right. So then, you know, that, you know, um, attention or that confidence that you have to have, because, I mean, entering for me, South Africa, or any type of pageant, or even just Big Brother, you need to be in a certain place mentally. So that builds up your confidence, is what you're saying. So, yeah, I was going through um, a relationship breakup. Mm -hmm. Well, breakup relationship. You know, it's a yeah. yeah. I um, didn't even catch that. I eh, thought you were speaking proper uh, English. Ah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then my, I broke up with this guy, mm -hmm. the guy that looks like me, Junior. I broke up with this guy. Why is that? This, <laughs> oh, you were talking about it in the show. Did you mention it? Yeah, that, that me and Mick Junior, Mick Junior reminded me of my ex. That okay. broke my heart. Okay. Type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then this guy and I break up. He lies about a lot of things. Yeah. And Mind you, I've just failed first year. I struggled to pay for my own fees. Right. My mom couldn't pay for my own fees. Mm -hmm. In high school, I remember leaving one high school to the next and I went to high school in town, mm -hmm. CBD. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, I found out that my school is right next to a strip club. They know the story. That I ne the, 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 the mirror, the windows were painted in white. Uh -huh. The boys would scratch the windows to see what's outside, only to realize it's a strip club. Because when I found out that, hey, like my school is next to a strip club, because then I tell my mom, my mom was a teacher there. Yeah. My aunt was the deputy, my aunt was the principal. Yeah. My uncle was the principal. Two of my aunts were clerks. So I couldn't date yeah. okay, in okay, school okay. Yeah. Yeah. because my mom was there. I tried yeah. an Angolian guy yeah. and then they trolled me. <laughs> Why was that somebody? Was and then I couldn't date in high school, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then I get to varsity, all of that happens. The whole Miss South Africa saga. Yeah. I then decide to. I'm. I'm I've got little jobs because mm -hmm. my mom can't afford my fees. I have to help her. Yeah. You know, she's she's married. I'm living with my 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 grandparents. Mm -hmm. I'm working. I'm studying at the same time. Yeah. I can't take all modules at once. No. I have to take okay. one module at a time because that's what I can you afford. Know, I didn't even think that was possible. I didn't know about that. I've probably done that. Which too. school did you go to? Uh, the first one was University of Free State. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also was struggling with paying fees, but uh, I don't think anyone advised me that. Okay, actually, you could do it like this. Mm. So that's interesting. You know what? How I, what what way I also used to make mm -hmm. money. Yeah. You know those ladies when you go to a club. Mm -hmm. Well, not a club, but. You know, these uh, the club was a cool questioning yeah. in the hood. Yeah. You'll find these ladies selling, some are selling a full chicken, some are selling a ration. I used to do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I used to That's sell. That's good business. That, uh, that was that, money. If somebody wants to collaborate on that, <laughs> like, let me tell you, I never leave a club without getting some wings or some You know, contract. especially when it's the hood, yeah. I would sell food there. Yeah. Even the owner was like, okay, Rato, you must sell chicken livers, chicken giblets. Yeah. This is what you need to sell, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a bit difficult for my mom because I come back late and I'm going back to work the following day. Yeah. I worked for the most notorious family in the whole of South Africa. Wait, wait, is it? Wait, yeah, wait. that family. We won't mention their name. How did you get the connection? Uh, I was basically a front. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but, and they, but they were so helpful and yeah. they rooted for Miss Robot yeah. more than me writing RE exams because I'm working for an asset management company. Yeah, yeah. And they protected me. Then I got into politics. Okay. Politics, I'm advocating for the kids. Yeah. Anything and everything that I did, mm -hmm. even for at a young age, I've always loved kids. It only came about in 2014. Yeah. when I started helping kids with homeworks when I had my first chess club, mm -hmm. when I had my tennis club. Mm -hmm. Now I'm writing kids books. Mm -hmm. And now I am, in the moment, I want to have a kids animation. Mm -hmm. Now I want to do this about kids. I want mm -hmm. to do that about kids. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, the first one is going to be my two books that are available on Amazon okay. that I have. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is my kids' cosmetic product because my friend, they, her child was having a rash on the bums mm -hmm. and she couldn't afford. Mm -hmm. And I was like, here's a, 
here's a problem. Mm-hmm. What is the solution? Mm-hmm. You know? And I came up with a solution. And I moved from that. I was still doing that. And I got a job and I created, I had a shop where I gave back to the community. I'm, I'm empowering people post the 2020, mm-hmm. you know, pandemic. Then I got a job as a marketing manager. Mm. Hey! <laughs> hey! Help me, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> I studied export, something totally different. Yeah. I'm getting a job as a marketing manager. Yeah. Get <laughs> marketing report, get marketing, get the exhibitions, get the campaign, get social media. I don't have a team. I'm all by myself. Wow, yeah. I'm digesting everything. Yeah. I just got out of the most terrible thing that I could ever do to myself, mm-hmm. which my mom was like, please don't talk about it as yet mm-hmm. because emotionally I'm still not okay. Yeah. For me, for you to say it out yes. there, and I haven't told her, yeah. so that will be something that comes out, and you know, and then I then got into tenders because I left my job. Okay, getting into Were tenders. The tender tendering. The tenders did tender here and there, but yeah. I had to fight. I had to stand on top of the tables. Mm-hmm. Okay, I am compliant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why am I not getting one, two, three? Yeah. And my sister was like, "The fact that you've done that, yeah. they will definitely call you." And yeah. I've been tendering and I would love to do politics. Yeah. I'd love to go back into That's politics. That's definitely some, something that would take you far in every aspect because they hold the keys in many doors. Mm-hmm. I want us to then move into, because you know, we're about to wrap up, we're going to move to the next segment. Just one last thing. What is it that you're now going to be doing moving forward? Um, I want to get into commercial modeling. Yeah. I uh, also want to be in the film industry mm-hmm. it can be photography videography mm-hmm. because i've done that like in a different country and i actually want to do it in south africa right and see how how i can incorporate what i've learned that side this side mm-hmm. yeah and yeah i just want to get into that more and also content creation right yeah right and i have an it degree mm-hmm. <laughs> cyber security you see how that I, he even shifted his body language have, like, by the way IT, yeah. i am very much well educated yeah I, I also have an it degree yeah um i was specializing in software development right um i'm graduating this year on my birthday that oh is my late. god that's, that's late life. that's late yeah. yeah um so I, I just want to like give my like share skills with people yeah. and get yeah. to learn how the industry is like in South Africa. I hear you. Just I hear yeah, you. that's lovely. Behind the camera, mm-hmm. in front of the camera, just go up. Yeah, bro, beans you hiring, you know, because yeah. you know we have young puppy in the building. Lerato, Lerato, definitely with the kids. I mean, the ultimate dream is to become an industrialist yeah. and have my own plant and yeah. manufacture everything in the kids' space. Mm-hmm. Would I do politics again? Maybe. But yeah. if not, I'm strictly sticking to business, Maybe animation, minutes, let me everything. Ask. Mm-hmm. Sorry to disturb you. No worries. There was a thing that you owned with Madlisa. They, they look similar. They, they look very much similar. <laughs> it is me. But that's so beautiful. The reason I bring it up is that would you then go back to um, acting? I, you know, after what I did on the show and how I carried it on for so long, I deserve an Oscar, that. guys. I would that love. Is true. I'd love an amazing. I'd love a role. A yeah. challenge, like take me out of my comfort zone. Don't make yeah. me a mother. Don't make me, yeah. like take me out of my comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. Acting. If you are looking for somebody. Before I get into politics. Yeah, let me pursue. Let this. me make some money. Money. And ah, now. Listen, we- guys, we've had such a great chat. Now it's time for us to play some games, you know. Mm-hmm. I cool. hope you go enjoy it. Let's it's the last go. segment after that. I'm letting you guys go. Okay. Yay! Let's go. Now have more Let's coffee. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are finally going to play some game. I'm excited. We'll see. How good is your general knowledge? Okay. <laughs> Yes, don't worry, it's not difficult questions. Okay, but before we start, I have a surprise for you. Can you bring in the surprise, please? Come on in. 
Surprise! Yay! Oh, Young puppy dog. Yeah. This is my surprise because I don't. I didn't expect oh, this. Oh, we have a cake, a whole cake. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, come, you guys. Uh, let me take off my mic so you can speak onto it. Please, just a quick shout out. Introduce who is Muffinier? The Muffinier is a black owned bakery based in the Vow. So check us out Instagram, Twitter. Any social media that you have, please check it out. Yay! Make it live again! Thank you so much! So we're going to play some nice little game here where we test your general knowledge, okay? So, you're ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ready? First question is, what is the world's most popular country? A, we have USA. B, we have China. C, we have India, and D, we have Russia. Most populated. Population. Most populated. Yeah. Fuck. General knowledge one, general knowledge two. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see. China? Yeah. China. China's uh -huh. correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Second question. You ready? Shishini. I can speak Mandarin. Watch out, Moya Eye. The thing is, I don't even know if that's <laughs> true or you're just making it up. <laughs> no. Just making I, mean, it up. I can, guys. A little bit, though. Okay. Second question What is the capital of the Philippines? Is it A, Dili? B, Manila? C, Marawi? D, ja Jakarta? Jakarta. Jakarta. I don't know. It's J A K A R T A. Jakarta. So, madam, if I get this right, do I get something? Uh, okay. You know what? Mm -hmm. if, can you ha do we have someone keeping the scores? Yeah. Okay. So whoever wins. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I can take if you can be my date. Mm, let's go. It's like a class one I'm going to let's go. an event this week on Tuesday and Wednesday at two. So you can be my class one on one of those. Let's mm -hmm. go. Yeah. So whoever wins. Okay. Wins. So A, Dili, B, Malini, C, Marawi, and D, Jakarta. So we have four options. Please mm -hmm. choose and show your answers. We have D. D we have B. Correct answer is B. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So we have two one, right? Yeah, two one. Two one. Let's okay. go. Next question. Did you know it? <laughs> we I'm have... pulling a Z right now. <laughs> okay. The greatest barrier reef is off the coast of which country? Do you know the Great Barrier Reef? Can you know your name? Okay, okay. Yeah, I guess you have to just guess. A, B, C, D, right? Oh, okay. A, Australia. B, Fiji. C, New Zealand. And D, South Africa. Barrier, which barrier? Are you? What's Great the spelling? Great Barrier Reef. As I'm saying, Great Barrier. The so spelling of barrier, is you it? You can check. Ah, Claire, King of Okay, A is... Australia, B is Fiji, C is New Zealand, and D is South Africa. I'm going to sip while you think about it. Yeah, I mean. Girl. Hey. <laughs> I just looking on the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my answer, bro. No, I'm not. <gasps> Trust me. I'm okay. not. So what did you choose? Can we see your answers? C, mine. Fiji. And you said C. Yeah, New, Zealand. New Zealand. Okay, let's find out. Correct answer is A, Australia. Oh, okay. Next question, ladies and gentlemen. What is the world's smallest country? We have A, Vatican City. B. <coughs> Let's test it, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say this. Chipotle. I don't 
know how to say it, but it's um, Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. Mm-hmm. That's how you say it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then C, another complex word, Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Yeah. And then we have Monaco D. So don't let me repeat those options, guys. No. Uh, I don't want to bite my tongue. So A, B, C, D. Yeah. Right? A, B, C, D. Hi, guys. Hey, but be so competitive with that. If you guys. Are you guys not going to give me like a clue? Yeah, these people are so sick. Three, two, one. Let's find out. Correct answer is A. a. Yes, let's go. You have A? Let's two, see. two. So two, two. Let's okay. go. I, I didn't know. The next question is, in which country is the world's highest waterfall? We have A, Brazil. Two, B, I mean, Venezuela. C, South Africa, and D, the USA, baby. The world highest waterfall. Even me, I know that. Hi, girl. Your options again? Brazil. You know, we've, Brazil, we've been in Venezuela, the house for so long. South Africa, USA. I know, I know. Like, I understand my brain was not working A, when I left Venez- the house. There's Venezuela, there's Brazil. Yeah. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Are you all ready? You're ready to reveal your answers? Mm-hmm. May we see? Mm-hmm. Papi said A. <laughs> <laughs> Why you guys love me? And you had... Girl. <laughs> you are going to be disqualified. <laughs> you better select your answer. Iki piki piki mabalani sala sala chenye a piki pop a kaka piki pop is in this time answer C okay so the lot is going with C going with A let's find out B is the correct answer so none of you got the point next Venezuela what is the capital of Australia I'm gonna hit you in the head if you don't know this girl I'm disappointed in myself. No, don't worry. Even me, I was like, your brain stopped working when you leave the house, guys. I swear. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, we have A, Adelaide, B, Canberra, C, Melbourne, and D, Sydney. This One. is Australia. You can A, B, C, D. You don't have to write the whole name. We have the answer, but B, you have? <laughs> C. <laughs> And you have D. The correct answer is B. Really? Yes. No. What? Canberra or something. Hi, hey, Bob. Hi, hey, hey, oh, hey, guys. Hey, I thought it was bad. Even me. Hey. Okay, but remember the capital sometimes. Oh, you, you, you would know the popular city. city like for yeah. us, oh. if we ask the capital, you might say Joburg and uh-huh. Pretoria. You see, so maybe uh-huh. it's one of those. So and which country two, two. is Mount Fuji. I'm gonna hit the Mount what? Mount Fuji located. Mm-hmm. A, North Korea. We have B, Peru, C, China, and D, Japan. Mount Fuji. Even was... the name says it. Where would this be? Mount Fuji. We have North Korea, B for Peru, C for China, and D for Japan. You know, I haven't been eating like information. I'm not in for Betty right now. Take a guess. And then you could be on the red carpet with me. (laughs) (laughs) Magna or V? We'll figure that out. Don't worry. Don't worry about his son. We have B and then and a D. Okay. The correct answer is Japan. D. Let's go. Let's go. No, it, it's a D, actually. <laughs> like, you know my handwriting. Girl, bye. Go to sleep. Three, okay. Two. We have two more, two questions, two Three, more questions two. left, right? Yeah, let's go. So this is the second last question. What if it's a tie? Then we will, you know, um, have one more question. Mm-hmm. Which Time country day. is the Cape of Good Hope? Located. 
I, don't, I shouldn't even give you guys options. We have A, South Africa, B, Canada, C, Australia, and D, USA. Give me, I think you The Cape of this Good point, Hope. <laughs> of, of Good Hope. The Cape of Good Hope. Ooh. We have what are, what's your answer, Papi? Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally Cape Town, Cape! Yo. <laughs> Salty. Yo. Yeah, last question. Okay. Let's go. We, got, we have a draw. So this mm-hmm. question shall determine who shall join Corsi Twala. On the red carpet, let's <laughs> Okay. What country are you listening? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is now a matter of red carpet or not. Listen let's carefully. Go. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. What country has the greatest number of active volcanoes? We got A for Italy. Okay. We have Italy A. B Indonesia, C, Philippines, and D, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, I will give you five seconds. Indonesia, Japan, five, Italy, four, three, two, one. Volcanoes. Pogamona Lindi, the island. I hope you don't have more than... Okay, you need to choose one because now you've written two. Okay, so Lerato is going for Indonesia. You're going for? Indonesia. Indonesia. And both of you are correct. So we're going to move on to the next question. Sudden death. (laughs) Sudden death. Where was the hottest? Not me, though. The temperature <laughs> ever recorded in the world. The highest temperature ever recorded. In which one of these countries, right? A, we have Peru. Uh, uh, Peru. Mm-hmm. Then we have Libya. We have Mexico. And then we have India. A for Peru. B for Libya. C for Mexico. And D for India. See. The highest temperature. Where was it recorded? Which country? So, Lerato, we have Libya. I also have Libya. You also have Libya? Uh-huh. Okay. And that is both correct. Wow. Okay, this is getting, <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is getting, getting a little steep. <laughs> getting steep. Okay. Which of these countries uses? Hmm. I know. Shilling as its currency. A. Malta. B. Kenya. C. Zimbabwe. <laughs> and D. Celsius. Without a doubt. Without a, a, B, doubt. C, D. Without Shillings. I doubt. don't know. Without a doubt. Okay, Papi, you're kidding. Okay. <laughs> no, he's trying to confuse you. You know, that, that's what we do in the yeah. house. We pretend you know how, you know what you do. I don't know. When no. are you going to fail? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I can't give it away. So, we, is that your final answers? Is that your so, final we have. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay. So we have Kenya. <laughs> it's a tie. It's and still then a tie. We have Kenya. <laughs> you are doing it. Let's go. <laughs> also, now a young puppy. It, it was Kenya. Yeah. Right, like from there. And we can see. You know what? No, I can't see. I promise. Okay. Just write a letter. The only time I, I cheat is when. I already did. Okay. Well, you like I already it. did. Okay. It's Kenya. Okay. Okay, which of these countries has three national capitals? 
A, Bolivia, B, South Africa, C, Nepal, and D, Morocco. Which of these countries has three national capitals? A, Bolivia. But me, but me, it's always the simple. Okay. <laughs> You don't know? Morocco. Yo, but never And I think this is the end of the game because one of them, according to my knowledge, is correct. But let's find out. Yes, it's South Africa. Yes! Let's go! To the Bye, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Let's Papi! Let's go. You played a good game! Well done, Papi! <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Papi and Lerato. You guys were such adorable, amazing hosts. I had so much fun with you guys, and I cannot wait for us. I mean, we're meeting at the finale, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all better show up. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Show up mm -hmm. and show out. With that being said, I am Kosi Twala, and this is Coffee with Kosi. Please make sure that you show some love to the muffiners. And today's outfit was sponsored by my fashion link. It is a lovely two-piece that you should get. I forgot, I can't say that because then it cuts me, right? Okay. It's a lovely two piece that you can get. All you have to do is just show them some love on Instagram, DM her, and she can make it for you in your size, your color, and everything else, baby. With that being said, I am Kosi Twala, and I'll show me back with one of your faves next week. A lot of love and peace out. Oh, bye. Make sure you subscribe. It's a demand. It's a command, okay? I've been asking you all nicely. But now I'm telling y'all, yeah, better get me to 50k. I mean, I'm not sure with your face. What's the problem? Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>